Welcome to my YouTube channel, I was planning to the join. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to place a window burglary in Akikad. Uh, without any further, let's just get right into the business. As you guys can see in the in the video, the way I designed that. So I'm just going to design, I'm just going to design some, something like this, okay? So the first step we have to do is we have to go to, go to options here. Come to complex profile, click on profile manager. Then click this plus sign, add new. So you can add a new, I'm going to name it a window burglary. Okay, I'm going to name it a window burglary. I'm going to click on OK. And I'm going to select this beam on tick the wall. Okay, so I just, I just need the, the beam, the beam version of the complex profile. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to click on document, click on the line too. But before you go there, let's go to the ground floor. All right, so we have the the ground floor is a little bit somewhere. Let me just fix it up. Okay, so I'm going to click on the west elevation and drag it inside the plan. Okay, so I can view where this window is located. Okay, so I'm just going to I'm just going to double click. Yeah, that's this west elevation. Double click there. Okay, I like to load. And okay, yeah, this is the window. Okay. So the next thing I want you guys to do is just click on the line tool, click on the line tool, make sure you are selecting this rectangular, okay, just click on it. Click this, I want to select, uh, let me say a red color so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to click, drag and click, okay. So when I'm done, I'm going to click the line, untick your suspend groups so that I can select everything at once, then copy, Control C to copy, okay. So when you're done with that, move to your window burglary, that's your complex profile and press ctrl v so and just paste okay when you paste click outside the box then alight this press ctrl d to move it to where this x is okay so click and when you are done with that now remember that this is a frame no? this is the size of our window okay this is the size this is the size of the window okay so what we want to do is so we just want to try and just design it a little bit. For for you to design it, I'm not going to select. I'm going to select suspend groups, and I'm going to click on the line, press Ctrl Shift D. I want to make a copy of this line and click, then drag it out. I'm going to offset it by uh, 40, then click Enter. Okay. So when I'm done with that, I'm going to do the same thing for this other side. Make a copy of this and give it 40. That's the dimension. Click this Ctrl Shift D, and I'm going to give this one 40. Then click this Ctrl Shift D and I'm going to give this one 40. I mean, the other ways you guys can do it if you guys use your offset tool, but I'd rather just do this. So, uh, so I'm going to click on the line tool and I'm going to look for the middle point. That's the middle point. Click it and drag it. Make sure you're selecting this only this one, only this one right here. So just drag it and click, click. Okay. So when you're done, I want to try and uh, offset this one too. Ctrl Shift D. And uh, I'm going to make a copy here, 20, and I'm going to take it back by 40, okay? So click the middle line and delete. All right, we're getting somewhere now. So I'm just going to delete this. Click on the line two again, hold alt and select this line. And I'm just going to pick a side randomly from here to, let's say this side here, okay? Just randomly, okay? So I'm going to select on the line again, Ctrl Shift D. I'm going to offset, let's say 20, okay, Ctrl Shift D and move it down again by 40. Click this and let's, let's, let's just delete that. So uh, Ctrl Shift D, I'm, let me try to slim this a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, let's say something like that. So I'm just going to make this join this okay all right so now we have something like this yeah so the next thing you guys are gonna do is just alight this alight this one okay then press ctrl u on your keyboard and click on spread and uh the spacing i'm gonna change it to be 200 okay and i'm going to click on okay and i'm just going to click anywhere and just try to drag it down to something like this okay but i think this is too much i'm just going to I'm going to go with, uh, let me say, 300 or 320. I want to allow the space there to be a little bit uh, wide enough. Okay, yeah. 
okay let's say let's just say something like this and i'm just going to click okay i'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard i like this and i like this okay so when you're done with that press ctrl shift m okay and wait for look for the middle point but you can't get the middle point so what you do is this uh click this line try to drag it to this side here okay and i like this i like all of this again okay so when you're when you're when you've, when you've done that press ctrl shift m that's mirror okay now select the middle point of this then click and drag then click so you're just gonna have this okay so what you want to do next now is you want to try to you want to try to trim off all of this side here Okay, so I'm done with that. Okay, I'm just going to try and reduce this back so we can have the, the gap here. So after you've done all this, click on the fill tool, hold on space bar, and just select this right here. It's going to select everything at once. Okay, so for you guys to give this gap here, because we have to make sure the gap is here. Okay, what you do is just click on the fill, click this black node here, and make sure that you're selecting subtract from polygon. Okay, hold on. Hold on or hold on space bar and select this one okay select the node again select the black node make sure that the subtraction polygon is being selected and hold on space bar then select okay just keep doing the same thing okay so when you are done with this okay select the the fill and select opening reference which stretch i stretch okay uh, i can select you can decide to give it your own kind of color i'm going to give it uh metal uh let me see you can give it, give it metal you know just whatever you guys want to use maybe stainless steel or steel i'm just going to use steel and those save okay once i've saved i'm just going to exit here okay then i'll go to my i'm going to go to the ground floor and i'm going to select this design here i'm going to select the beam okay then click this click this uh this one right here the third one click on custom and select a window burglary okay and the next thing you do is just come here note it's going to be like this once you once you click you can stretch it to unlimited it's just going to be unlimited okay but you want to allow you want to allow this you want this you want to allow it to be a little bit maybe like let me, let me just say 10 uh yeah let me see let me just say 10 okay you want to write it to be 10 okay and once you've done that just click once you write in just click let me, let me let me show you guys again so what it does do is click on the click on the beam tool come here and click once you click just stretch it by 10 and click enter twice okay so you're gonna be having something as simple as this okay so if you so let's go to the 3d view to go and check it out uh this is in the 3d but we can't see it okay we can't see it we can't see it here so i'm going to go to the ground floor you guys are going to see what i'm talking about so i'm just going to click on the on the on the burglary and ctrl d to move it out if i go to the 3d view again i'm going to see it okay I'm going to see it it's kind of it's kind of weird but without any stress there's i'm going to guys show you i'm going to show you guys the easiest way for you to go about that so i'm going to because of, uh the model is not actually the model i change it to be so i'm going to click this click on the settings dialog click on segment and click this one and this one then click this and let me change it to be the metal steel okay click this and click on ok so that's why, that's why it changes to be like that okay so the next thing i want to do right now is go to the west elevation i try to fix it to look like as if it's been fixed properly okay ctrl d so as you can see it's been fixed properly now so i'm going to go to the 3d view and i'm going to be seeing something like this okay 
so i'm not going to i'm not going to place it yet so what i want to what i want to allow you guys to do is now click on that on that design here click you're going to look for opening tool i think i just passed it okay this is opening tool and just underneath here just click okay once you click come to the west elevation okay select this and i want you to make i want it to make just so you guys don't get confused let me just move this out so this is the opening tool remember that opening tool is actually a see-through you can see through it okay you can see through it okay so what you want to do is on that uh go to your waist elevation and try to measure try to make sure this actually fits in perfectly with this Okay, make sure you select this. Okay, this is what I did. I click on the opening tool. I selected this, select this part, and it's going to pop out this stuff. So to select this offset edge and try to, okay, press Ctrl D, select this. So it's going to fit in like that. Click this and offset this side. So boom, you have something like this here. Yeah? So if you go to your 3D view, I'm not going to be seeing anything because it's just there okay so what you want to do next what you want to do next but well, note in case you guys are colored you guys modeled your building because if you guys notice this side is not actually the white color i used here so i'm going to click on the wall for you guys to color this part click on the wall click on the settings dial on the settings dialog and click this one right here okay click on it and change it i'm going to change it to be glossy white and click on okay so it's just going to be that color okay so the next thing i want to do right now is I want to bring in the the burglary. I want to click on the burglary and press Ctrl D and try to place it exactly. Yeah, 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 like this. So go to your 3D view and let's try to place it uh, perfectly. Click this and press Ctrl D and move it inside here. Okay. If you guys made a mistake, okay, what you guys can do instead of you guys to do this is just go to the ground floor. Okay. So this is it right here. Remember, this is the opening to sign, okay, to show you that there's an opening to here. You guys can decide to go and change this under floor plan settings, okay? Click this, press Ctrl D, and try to move this inside this place. Let me see like this, okay? So once you guys are done, go to your 3D view, and you should be having something like this, okay? You should be having something like this. Uh, you guys can decide to move it further inside the inside the wall press ctrl d and i'm just going to move it a little bit like that okay so you have something like this you have a nice burglar you guys can decide to uh use different type of burglar you can actually use this particular design for other windows let me say like this okay so yeah if you guys want to fix let me see you guys this, this particular kind of uh window blog gallery design you guys can actually fix it you guys want to fix it here what you just do is this let's go to the ground floor i'm going to just hold down alt select this particular uh window blog gallery we did here and i'm just going to make i'm just going to do the same thing now offset it by 10. okay so you can see that it's actually short but you guys will take note that we actually need to use the opening tool okay so what you do is go to the west elevation okay this is it here i'm going to press ctrl l to remove this object tool from here okay so i'm just going to click this and i'm going to i'm just going to move it i'm just going to move it here click this side here and try to offset So if I go to the 3D view, you guys are going to check that it's actually half, okay? It's actually, it's actually half. So once it will be filled up from year to year. So what you do is just go to the West Elevation again and click this one here. And we are going to try and reduce the height. Okay, we are going to try and reduce the height like that, okay? And click this and try and reduce the height to this one right here. Okay, so you have that. Click this and we're going to stretch the width. Like, like, let me sure try doing this right. Like, yeah, like this. So you have something like this. Let's go to the 3D view. And now you have something like this. 
okay it might not be to your interest i mean you might not like the designs actually because it's actually it's better than this one but you guys can actually go back and make a design specially for this because you guys are gonna if you guys have different type of windows in your building you guys are gonna have to go to complex profile and can create a new type of window burglary so you guys can fix it perfectly to this one right here okay and please note the window burglary can either be inside or can be outside your building okay it can be inside it can be outside the building or it can be inside the building so just note just take note of that okay thank you for watching this video uh and i'll see you in my next tutorial video thank you